Greetings, salutations, Neil Cross, yeah, Tech 3D, two videos in two days, mate, what's the crack, <laughs> what's going on? Um, so, yesterday I made a video talking about how I'm not so sure about Autodesk University this year in Vegas, uh, with the bulk of my reservations actually being around just the cost because of the Formula One being on around the same time, and the hotel's knowing that people are going to be coming into Vegas for the Formula One and ramping the prices up. Um, and... Uh, S -s someone in the comments of that video pointed out that actually the hotels weren't that bad this year. Now, my statement, my kind of take on the hotels was based off of uh, a couple of searches that I did a, f a f couple of months ago when the Autodesk announced that AU was going back to Vegas this year. Uh, I did my usual date range that I would arrive and depart, the usual hotels, and they were coming in extortionate. A bulk of hotels were. Um, but I've just done another search now and they're actually not that bad there's a big big butt ladies it d depends on a few things but it's actually not shocking to be it's actually not that far away from what it would normally be without the formula one being on so this video is a correction like a, yeah a correction to just one line that i said in in yesterday's video uh, a whole video to correct one thing that i said get on my level line of sebastian but, uh, i've got to be kind of consciously aware and mindful of the fact that when I make a video these days, it kind of does have a bit of an impact on the Autodesk ecosystem and what people do and, and what, you know. Uh, and so far, even though it's not a massive number, over a thousand people have seen that video, which is actually a sizable percentage of the, the actual number of people who would be at Autodesk University. So um, I, I don't want to just put a pinned comment on that video and leave it at that as a correction. That's not kind of, um, that's not good enough. Uh, so if anyone's sort of made a decision to not go based off of what I've said, I don't really feel great about that. And I don't really want to do any harm to Autodesk. I don't want to do them dirty either by putting out a bit of naff information, which could potentially cause people to not go to their event. So, um, yeah, look, uh, this is um, this is where we're at with it. So another thing which completely f flew over my radar, uh, or under my radar, is... The date, the, the actual day that Autodesk University starts this year is different. It's normally Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So again, my searches were based off of those dates, right? Sort of flying in, uh, usually on a Saturday to get a couple of days out of the way, a jet lag, some, maybe Sunday, uh, but then departing on the Friday, which is the day after the, the event finishes. But it's actually the 13th to the 15th, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Wednesday's the last day, so you could fly out on the Thursday. And... What I've noticed based off of my hotel searches is that just staying that one extra night, if you were to stay that Thursday night, which I would have done if it was a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday event, the prices just go. And I think that was partly why my original searches were kind of coming in mental. So here's um, the, the site that I normally use, right, which is Expedia. And of course, all these results will differ based off of where you are, obviously, right? The airlines know people are going to be going to Vegas around this time of year for the Formula One, and they will ramp their prices up, and that will change to region to region. But I fly out of Newcastle, that's where I live, in uh, the United Kingdom of Brexitville, going to Vegas. Now, normally, so th this is the date range that I would have originally searched for. I would have went, uh, arrive on the Saturday, right? Uh, you usually get there quite late on the Saturday. That's what the flights are like from the UK. Um, so you've got your first day, which is Sunday, typically, and then the Monday to get over the jet lag, and then the event starts Tuesday. Event Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I would normally fly out on the Friday. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six nights in Vegas. Uh, and then do a quick search on that. And this this is what I based that original statement on. Uh, and to be fair, a lot of the other hotels, sort of the fringe hotels around the Strip, their prices have, I'm 95% sure, have come down since I did my first searches. So some of them aren't too bad. But the ones that I typically look at, is like the Bellagio, uh, the MGM, that those kind of the Bellagio four grand, and that's that's what I looked at when I first did my search because I I usually stay at the Bellagio. I love the Bellagio, adore it, even though it's a mission of a walk. Uh, but then you know three grand for Caesar's Palace, three and a half grand for the Aria, and you know three thousand three hundred for the Mandalay Bay. So I was looking at those and I was like, Jesus Christ! But with it being Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you could actually fly out, so you could return on the Thursday, and just see, this is mental, watch this, right, just dropping one night off of the hotel has an insane, insane effect on the price of the overall trip. So don't forget the Bellagio was uh, four grand, it's now 2,200. They're charging two grand for 
that Thursday night. So what? So they must expect based off of, I don't know, the maybe free practice one of the Formula One. That's that Thursday is maybe when most of the guests are going to arrive for the Formula One. That's when the prices start going absolutely insane. Don't know. But you can see that everything else has just dropped. You know, Caesar's Palace, 1700. That was, was that nearly three grand, that one? And um, yeah, so based off of those dates, it's actually it's actually doable. This is um, very, I'll say very affordable, but it's it's in the same ballpark as it would normally be. Um, I wouldn't want to, I don't think I'd want to land any earlier or later than the Saturday, to be fair, like if the event starts on the Monday, if you get there late on a Saturday, um, you've only got sort of, that time period there to get over the jet lag if you're coming in from Europe uh, before starting on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then leaving on the Thursday. Um, but that's that's affordable. Um, of course, from here on in, things change. I mean, the, the Flamingo, the Flamingo is relatively close to the Venetian, and that's 1,232. I mean, some of the hotel, the um, MGM Grand, uh, Caesars Palace, they're not too far away from the Venetian. I mean, the, the, I think Caesar's Palace is a little bit up, further up the strip. But, um, yeah, like the Flamingo, that's that's doable. Mandalay Bay, 2,800, that's still quite expensive. I don't know what they think they're doing. But, um, yeah, like if, we, if you were to stop the Flamingo, now with this search cri- this this search engine, they tend to pick the, the worst flight on offer. Now, me personally, this is just a me thing. I will never, ever again fly sort of transatlantic or long haul, if there's more than one connecting flight, and if that connecting flight has a layover of less than an hour and a half, no chance. I am not running between terminals through customs with like 45 minutes to get to my connecting flight. Not happening. I will refuse to travel if that's the case. Um, But that's probably the kind of flight you'll get. So you can upgrade your room, whatever, 34 quid, sure, let's go for one of these rooms, right? And then let's take a look at the flights, just to get a sort of overall reasonably realistic trip cost. So one stop, absolutely, even if it costs me 200 quid, I don't care. I'm not I'm not doing a dash between terminals or having two five-hour layovers or whatever. Um, so 14 hours, one stop, two and a half hours in London Heathrow, absolutely, I'll do that. And then your return flight, uh, these again differ based on what day you want to depart, but uh, one stop, and there should be another London Heathrow connecting flight. Yep, three hours and 20 minutes, 150 quid. And you're looking at about 1,700 quid in total for the for the, for the the stay, if I've done my mathematics correctly. Um, yeah, 1,681. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Uh, of course, you've got your ticket price for AU on top of that. Um, I'm I'm now genuinely now thinking about this because um, that's a whole different kettle of fish now as to what I originally I originally thought I was going to be having to pay four grand for uh, you know flight and hotel. So um, you know session catalog be damned right. In all honesty, I I don't really go to AU for the classes personally. I go for the networking and meeting people that I know and haven't seen in a while. So um, as much as I still stand by what I said about the majority of the classes being, it could be better. Um, I, I also want to clarify as well, I put it in a pinned comment, but it's worth saying here now, I'm, I didn't mean any disrespect to the resellers in terms of you know all that. I didn't mean that to be a blanket statement that all resellers classes are going to be you know, sales pitches. There are some good classes from resellers. I've sat on them myself, but... The point I was making was the more classes you've got from service providers in general, the higher chance you will have of landing in a class that is a sales pitch uh, with some kind of agenda uh, to push behind the class. So, um, yeah, I didn't mean any disrespect to resellers. Uh, I used to work on for a while myself, so I, I know the graph they put in and the same for Autodesk as well. So, yeah, I think um, if I can get a maybe a media pass for AU this year, I might actually think about this, you know, even if I... That means not going across with a sponsor and I don't have any obligations. I'd maybe prefer that. I don't know. So, yeah, look, if anybody watched that previous video and decided to against going to AU because of the travel cost and the hotel cost, it's actually, you know, depending on the days you choose and you can or cannot fly in and out, it's it's affordable, actually. So um, it tends, it's looking like it's that Thursday night. So if, if your country of origin doesn't have a flight heading out of Vegas before... Thursday, then 
and you have to stay until Friday, then you might be hit with that extra night, uh, which is a, which is a nightmare. Also, as well, if you are um, go back to full cam, if you are staying in the Venetian through the Autodesk deal, so the Autodesk, I think Autodesk have arranged a, a rate of around two hundred and fifty dollars a night for the Venetian Palazzo. No idea how they've done that uh, for, for this year, but if you are staying on their rate, the Venetian want all Autodesk guests out on Thursday. Um, so if you have to stay until Friday or Saturday due to flights, then you will have to arrange accommodation in another hotel at those prices. Um, so, yeah, look, apologies, I guess, to Autodesk if it came across like I'd maybe pushed people away or turned them off the event. I guess I'm trying to do my best to sort of correct that. But, yeah, the information I gave was based off of some searches I did originally on the assumption the event was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'd be flying out on the Friday. Uh, but that's not the case this year, obviously. So, um, yeah, look, that's that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Just a, a correction to yesterday's video. And, yeah, it's kind of made me think again about this. Even, like I say, the session catalog's a bit... Um, it's always it's always a good destination for networking, meeting people who you've, you, you could be a value to you or you could be a value to them. It's just a goldmine of people like that. So... I'll do for now. Thanks very much. And um, yeah, again, let us know in the comments if this has maybe changed your opinion on it. Uh, I, I guess a lot of people aren't in the same boat as me. They will be going for the classes. And if the session catalogue doesn't look much good, then, you know, maybe they're still like, uh, not too sure. Um, whereas me, it's a bit different. But yeah, let us know what you think in the comments down below. My name's Neil Cross, Tech3D.